And then I should go here. We have a lot of X pumping. Famous last words. Yeah, that that's that's that, I'm, I'm happy with three plates, mate. I do another set though, then. Bring out the um, you got any of those aluminium plates? Yeah, where's the fake ones? Stack them all on. Put a couple of those little five kilo ones on. See those black, the power lifting ones, the 15 kilo ones? Can you get them? <laughs> you don't want to take off, man. We'll take, we'll take those three off and put six... 25s on. No, six fives. <laughs> so it looks good. That's what we do. Well, I said, after a couple of guys got injured in America, they used to do that. If you say you're squatting here with three, they'll put the real ones on. Then they'll probably get another three aluminium ones. In the old days before then, though, we used to always use the real weights. I said, why? No one's going to believe it anyway. So you would be squatting six actual plates and people go, oh, that's fake weight. You're like, oh, fuck. Get no credit. For <laughs> Just hold there for 10 seconds while we get a couple of shots. Chris Lund would always want that action. So you would be squatting six, no shirt on, covered in oil. Go down, come up. Oh, hold it there, hold it there, that's good. Up, up, you hold it there, hold it there. A bit more, hold it there. Okay, come up, okay. Now back down, and you're like, oh, fuck, come out. Same with dumbbells, you haven't heard of dumbbells. All right, right up. Okay, now bring them down, hold it. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Now push them back up, and you're like, <laughs> when you're doing something, it's easier to do it, but yeah. when you've got to stop and hold, stop and hold, the energy just goes, right. And And how long did a photo shoot used to go for? Maybe a couple of hours, because then too, because you've got you know, the different type of things where you have light setups. That's why I used to prefer like Artie Zeller or some of the photo shoots I did towards the end where you go for natural lighting. That way you could just train normal and they just follow you around and shoot the workout. If you've got lights and shit, there's a bit more hassle having to move yep. around. Then if there's someone in the background, you've got to wait for them to finish their exercise or you'll be starting the exercise and someone walks through the background. Okay, at least stop for a minute. <laughs> Do you have to travel up there, mate? Uh, when I lived in California, no, when I lived in California, I used to go to Costa Mesa, which is about a 45 minute drive. Mm. Some were just being gyms close by in Marina Del Rey, so I wasn't, a lot of mine didn't just did a world gym, so it was close. Or sometimes if you say the Arnold Classic, they might go to a world gym there in Columbus, or just some photos and other things set up backstage for the posing photos. But you like living in LA? That wasn't bad. David Paul, I shot with him, he'd go to weird places out in the desert or mm just to get those different types of shots, which I didn't mind that much better than the old posing shots, but you know, like the old boxing bag one I did, that was in a big warehouse in LA, and then did some out in the desert with my Hummer and an old Ford up in the mountains, so I like stuff like that, it's more artistic type. A lot of the bodybuilders are moved to Vegas now, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of gyms. Did you spend time up there as well? Or? Uh, only mainly racing when I went to Vegas. A couple of times for the Olympia, but then mainly racing, but Guess they move out there, more money, more flashy stuff, more drugs. <laughs> Sin City. <laughs> I know for a while, places, you know, when they went through that slump in the housing, places were out in Vegas, so. Mm -hmm. You look at Vegas now, it's so spread out. I think there's quite a few gold gyms out there now, so. They've got you know, cheap Vegas and Anderson. Cheap housing. Oh, yeah. Even food, you can get some of those casinos. Get like your salad and that your main meal of steak and whatever and dessert, you know, five seventy five. It's like you couldn't even buy steak for five dollars here. So food's so cheap. And they say, "Why Americans so obese?" Well, you know, their large cokes like <laughs> this. I was saying to Jade the other day, you know, when bartenders have that, you know, if someone's drunk, you can't serve them more alcohol. I just figured, now if someone, I'm not saying fat, but if someone's super obese. And they go into McDonald's, shouldn't they say, no, I can't serve you? Because really, because they're saying that being that obese is a health issue and McDonald's isn't really good food, it's okay once in a while, but I mean, if they ask to supersize it, shouldn't you say, no, we can't do that because... Well, that's banned now. Huh? Supersize is banned now. Is it? Did you see that documentary, Supersize it? I saw that, yeah. After two weeks after that, they banned it. Yeah, but they do this, make the shit bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to ask for supersize, it just comes bigger now. <laughs> Yeah, but like I said, if obese people go into a place like that, shouldn't they say, no, we can't give it to you? It'd be the same as giving a drunk person alcohol. If someone's that obese, you should be like, no. I want a Big Mac, a large Coke. No, listen, you're getting a fucking chicken salad and a water. <laughs> That's what you're getting. <laughs> but you couldn't do that, could you? So, 
if someone's drunk, just give them more beer then. Who cares? It's their body then. If that's the way you're going to do it that way, you can't pick and choose. Someone fat driving that obese is probably just as dangerous when the wheel gets stuck in their stomach and they can't turn. 